Hey folks, here is a JLJT front upper spring isolator out of a diesel JT. If you all originally remember, Jeep had designed the coils to bow towards the outside of the vehicle. Here's your pins that locate on the inside of the vehicle. One thing to note about this is what would be the outside of the vehicle thickness of the top spring seat is now thicker than the inside. For whatever reason, on certain applications, Jeep has completely redesigned this part and changed it. So what this can cause is your coils to bow towards the inside of the frame. Two things to note about these isolators. Uh, so far, we're finding them on the diesel applications with the newer ones and some 392 applications. If the spring wire is larger than 9 16 the spring will not necessarily sit properly in that radius groove because the radius groove is 9 16 The other thing is obviously, like I mentioned, the thinner part is towards the inside and the thicker part is towards the outside of the vehicle. And that will certainly cause a ton of issues based on aftermarket coils. A way to correct all of this is simply flap this down this edge on the outside so it meets the base or root diameter of the spring isolator so it's flat. Remove these two nubs on the backside, cut, i.e. cut them off, and then completely flip it in the vehicle like it was originally designed from Jeep. Then you will no longer have springs buckling and bowing towards the inside of the frame if you have an isolator that looks like this. You know, again, you can see it's completely reversed from what is conventional in the Jeep applications. So, you know, if you do this, you will solve all your problems with coil springs buckling towards the inside of the frame.